children now let's learn about the occupations in the indus valley civilization the harappans followed different occupations they were farmers weavers potters jewelers metal workers toy makers stone cutters seal cutters bead makers boat makers masons and traders children now let's learn about agriculture agriculture was the main occupation of the people a toy model of a plow has been found it suggests that the people used plows to farm their lands farmers produced sufficient food to meet the needs of all cattle rearing was also practiced they domesticated cattle buffaloes sheep and goats these animals were perhaps used for milk and meat now let's learn about metal work the bronze smith made figurines it mean small carved or molded figures they also made tools and weapons the figure of the dancing girl shows their mastery in bronze casting the dancing girl of mohenjodaro is displayed in the national museum new delhi children it is a bronze statue of 10.5 cm in height the dancing pose the tilted head the droopy eyes the plaited hair bangled hands and lot of jewelry make the dancing girl a unique artifact the goldsmith made jewelry of gold silver and precious stones now let's learn about bead making and spinning and weaving children bead making was an important occupation beads made of gold silver copper semi precious stones and shells have been found at numerous indus sites spinning and weaving were common occupations pottery making in indus valley civilization children pottery making had reached an advanced stage beautiful reddish glazed pottery with geometrical designs animal figures and trees and leaf motifs the meaning of motifs children a decorative design or pattern have been discovered from all the sites bricklaying huge brick structures indicate that bricklaying was an important occupation of the people of indus valley civilization the numerous buildings discovered indicate that masonry must also have been a popular occupation of the people children before we get into the next part of the lesson watch this video to visualize the different occupations of the people of indus valley civilization like the cities of today the ancient harappan cities were well planned they had advancements that one might consider unthinkable for such an ancient civilization It was the people and their innovations that made the civilization great. The Harappans played different roles that contributed to the glory of the civilization. The rulers took great care to plan the city. They oversaw the city. The scribes wrote important messages on seals and other material. The Harappans had developed their own script. Trained specialists polished beads, bangles, earrings, necklaces, and other ornaments. 
Harapans might have travelled far and wide to obtain the metals used to create these ornaments. The weavers wove cloth from cotton by using spindles. The Harapans might have grown cotton. Some craftspeople worked with metal and created beautiful statues and figurines and pots. Other craftspeople worked with stone and clay and made beautiful pots and terracotta toys in the workshop. Also, Harappans probably had an irrigation system because the region did not receive enough rainfall. Also, toy models of plows were found, indicating that the Harappans probably plowed fields. Harappans grew crops like wheat, pulses and rice and reared animals. It is also possible that they caught fish and hunted wild animals. Transport. Many terracotta models of bullock carts have been found in Harappa. This has led historians to believe that bullock carts were a popular means of transport. Ships and boats were other means of transport. Watch this video children. Some vehicle-shaped toys were found by archaeologists. This indicates that the Harappans used bullock carts as a mode of transport between the city and farms. Trade in Indus Valley Civilization People exported surplus goods and brought in goods that were in short supply. While gold was obtained from South India, metals like copper, tin and silver were brought from Mesopotamia, Persia that is modern Iran, Oman and Afghanistan. Trading links with Mesopotamia have been proven by the discovery of the Mesopotamian seals in the Indus cities and those of Indus in the cities of ancient Mesopotamia. This trade was perhaps conducted from the dockyard at Lothal. All trades may have been taken place through barter system. Weights and measures played an important role in trade. Marked sticks have been found. They must have been used to measure objects. Seals of the Indus Valley Civilization now let's learn about them children. More than 2000 seals have been found so far. They are flat, square or rectangular in shape and are made of clay, stone and copper. They have human and animal figures such as that of a bull, buffalo, goat, tiger and elephant with a few pictures like signs on the top. The seals were probably used by the merchants to stamp their goods. The seals inform us about the artistic skills, trade contacts, dress, ornament, religious beliefs and the script of the Indus people. Script of Indus Valley Civilization Children The Indus script has been engraved on numerous seals found from various sites. It is the earliest form of writing discovered in India. The script is pictographic. It consists of signs that are like pictures representing words, objects and ideas. Unfortunately, the script has not yet been deciphered. It means children not decoded. Children, under more to know, you might be wondering whose statue is this? This is a statue of a priest king. Named so because he appears to be either a priest or a king or both, was discovered in Mohenjo-daro children in 1927. He has a beard and is shown wearing a headband and an embroidered shawl. 
Finally, moving on to the decline of this great civilization, children, historians differ regarding the causes that led to the decline of this civilization. Some say that natural disasters such as earthquakes, floods, and diseases might have ended up this civilization. The other reasons could be children a change in the course of river Indus, or invasions by the conquering tribes like the Aryans, or a change in the cropping patterns. So all this could be the reasons for the decline of the Indus Valley civilization. Though the civilization ended up abruptly, it has provided us with an important link to the past.